Hi, I'm Rebecca Strom. I'm Deputy Chair of the North Metro Health Board and also Chair of the Audit and Risk Committee. I have had about 20 years experience in commercial law. I was a property lawyer in some large national firms, uh, recently stepped away from that. I have also sat on some boards with a not-for-profit housing provider and other government boards. I'm a mum of two young boys, which is partly why I've stepped back from the, the day job for now and um, why I joined the board, for me, I felt I had some skill sets I could bring to the board. Um, I saw it as a great opportunity personally to learn and grow and develop and, um, and the, the values have to resonate. What, what the organisation is trying to achieve has to resonate with you to sit on a board. When we picked the values, it wasn't done lightly and so, uh, it's hard to narrow down to the one. I think that they're all quite critical into um, how we go about the things that we do. Teamwork has been a massive one in the last few years. I think that the way people have banded together, we all know it's tough, we all know we're overworked, we all know we're tired. Um, and the way that people have banded together just to pitch in and help out and do their job. Probably respect uh, the way people treat each other and I think the COVID crisis, not just to focus on that, but it's, it's given a real opportunity for people to understand what each other do and, and improved, I think really made a difference in people respecting each other's roles in how the health system works. I think what we've done well is really a commitment to our goal of promoting and improving the health in the community and for our people. It's, it's been unwavering. There's different ways in which we've done that, but that commitment, I think, is first and foremost in everyone's mind when they're at work every day. And so I have to say that's something I, I am proud of. I'm looking forward to the next board meeting. We get quarterly updates on the progress of the operational plan. Um, I think it's been a great opportunity for us to keep us on track. You can lose sight of where you're going when you're always responding to crises. So I think we've laid a solid foundation. As a person who's always after continual improvement, I always want more. And I think that, but that's healthy. Um, I think some areas we probably haven't got as far as we wanted and there's reasons for that. And I think that's reflected in the sustainable health review as well. I look forward to when we can move out of this sort of crisis mode and um, deliver even more improvements on this operational plan. But it certainly set us up for that strong foundation um, for that first horizon so we can go on in time to build all those relationships and become that uh, trusted community healthcare provider that we really want to be. It's not often we get the opportunity to talk to everyone and I, I don't pretend all 12,000 will probably see this, but it really is, North Metro can operate without us as a board, but it can't operate without the people who do the job day in, day out. And I know it's hard and I know everyone will say we're resilient and having worked in a workforce where you get told all the time you're resilient, sometimes you're like, I don't want to be resilient. I just want things to get easier. But um, we do really admire the resilience and the commitment to our goal and uh, thank you on behalf of the board and all the community in WA and North Metro.